wireless chargers, am I right? Just when you think air power is out of the picture, just when you think it's history. John shared some leaked information on his Twitter and he said, Apple is still working on it. They haven't given up on it. The hardest part is to make the wireless charging of the Apple Watch work with the rest of the devices. If you remember that keynote from 2017, it was their biggest announcements after the first generation iPhone. And everyone was excited. But during the air power announcement, Phil Schiller's face was really different. So we're going to give you a sneak peek of this idea right now. Right there. It's a mat that you place your iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 down and it just starts to charge. You can place your Series 3 Apple Watch down on it. And you can place your AirPods with the optional new wireless charging case on it. This is not possible with current standards, but our team knows how to do this. We call it air power. He's anxious, he's playing with the remote. He knows this is too early to be announced. And his words are actually different too. He says, we have an idea. We're gonna work on it. We're gonna work with the Qi team. We're gonna make this happen. It's impossible to make it. We're gonna work on it. We're gonna make it happen. We know a way to make it. And then whatever that way was, it didn't work. But I have a wireless charger in front of me, which looks the same and it charges the same devices. The difference is with air power, wherever you place your device, it was gonna charge. With this, every device has its dedicated place on the thing. So let's get to unboxing. This is Trio Wireless Charging Pad from Satechi. If you know Satechi, they make really high quality products. This Apple Watch charger is actually one of my favorite products from Satechi because you can just unplug this and you can just plug it to your iPad. And you can charge your watch like that. It's a very useful a nice product. It's a nicely designed box, if I must say. It says that it has LED indicators, supports nightstand mode. We're gonna talk about that. And it has 7.5 watt wireless charging for the phone that is placed on it. And it can wirelessly charge three devices. It is um, a little on the expensive side. It says, thank you here, you're welcome. And then underneath we have the charging pad. I unboxed this before, I boxed it back again because I'm a professional unboxer so I also professionally box things back together just so I can give you the unboxing experience because we all know how important that is. We're gonna look at this more in a little bit. Let's see what else is in the box. It comes with a 24 watt charger and some adapters. And I'm guessing we have the cable here. We have the cable and it has a cable tie so you can make things nice and clean and that's all as you can see this is a really good looking charger it has this rubber here so your phone doesn't slide off this is for your airpods and this is for your watch it's on sale on satechi's own website now let's plug it in when you plug it in the leds turn on and then they turn off let's place our airpods we we'll get the indicator there Let's place our phone. And that is charging as well. And let's place a watch. So the thing is I use these kind of watch bands and these kind of watch bands will be a little weird on this like that. So what you can do is you can just lift this up and place it sideways and boom, everything is charging clean one cable solution for your charging station and everything is wireless which means if you make a mistake <laughs> placing this at night in the morning you're gonna have a bad time let's see if it's gonna charge the we're charging s20 ultra 5g as well the camera hunchback is not an issue it is good it is good it's a good accessory. I also use IOT's wireless chargers. I have two of them. One of them is plugged in my desk right now. And the other one is this one that has an output if you want to charge something else at the same time. These are very useful as well. 
As I was editing this, I realized I don't use wireless charging when I go to sleep. I use wired charging because I find it safer, faster, and I like to be on my phone before I fall asleep. And as I'm falling asleep, I can just put the phone down wherever I want and it will be charging right there. With the wireless charging, I have to place it on the pad right in that circle and hope I don't slap it in my sleep. But that doesn't mean I don't like wireless chargers. I like wireless chargers. I have a couple of them in the living room and they come very handy when they're required. I also ate an expired food today. It expired last month. But the question is, what do you think about wireless chargers? What kind of chargers do you use? Do you prefer one over the other? Please let me know in the comment section below. Right now, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you to write that comment. Yeah, right, right, let me see. Mm -hmm. That's your, you, you meant to say you are. Yeah, you are, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, not there, that's there. You're trying to say there, okay. So, yeah, it's my, oh, it's only my second language. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. During these times, I'm trying to upload as much content as I can so I can keep myself and keep you busy. Something for me, something for you. So if you want anything, if you have an idea for a video, let me know in the comment section below. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Until then, keep calm, don't touch your face, and wash your hands.